Hello, my name is Andrea Alexandru, and this teaser is about state measure application under changing network conditions, which is joint work with Erica Bloom, Jonathan Katz, and Julian Ross. So what is state measure application and why do we care about it? State measure application protocols have recently received a considerable attention in the context of blockchain protocols, as they specify how a set of parties can jointly agree on a continuous growing ordered log of transactions. This agreement should hold at all honest parties, despite Byzantine parties in being involved in the protocol. And state machine replication is related to the problem of Byzantine agreement, but not subsumed by it, as Byzantine agreement enables the one-shot agreement on a single band. The network model has a sig significant impact on the security and efficiency of state machine replication protocols, and several models have been studied. In the case where the network is synchronous, state machine replication protocols have been proposed for a security threshold of n over 2 corruptions. When the network is asynchronous, the tolerated corruption threshold is n over 3. In this work, we focus on what is called the network agnostic model, where the network might be either synchronous or asynchronous without knowing the case in advance. Therefore, we would like to design a state machine uh, replication protocol, which is secure regardless of the network state, and tolerates potentially more corruptions than the asynchronous case if the network is synchronous. Bloom et al. proved that the optimal threshold for network agnostic security between the tolerated corruptions in the synchronous case and the tolerated corruptions in the asynchronous case is 2 times ds plus da less than n the total number of parties. The feasibility question has been answered positively before, and we now ask whether we can achieve the same communication complexity as in the asynchronous case. Also, what if the network is moody and keeps changing from synchronous to asynchronous and vice versa, but we don't know whether it stabilizes in a synchronous or an asynchronous state? If the network transitions from synchronous to asynchronous and the adversary still holds control over TS parties, then we lose security because of well-known impossibility results related to the asynchronous model. So we need to assume that the corruption capability of the adversary also decreases when the network becomes asynchronous and that parties have the capability of rebooting and kicking out the adversary. Nevertheless, the adversary will still know the states of the parties it has previously corrupted, including whatever keys they have. So the question is, can we still get security under key exposures? The literature for async and state machine replication, both for static and adaptive adversaries, achieve a cubic communication complexity when outputting n transactions. This means a quadratic amortized communication complexity per transaction. On the other hand, the tardigrade network agnostic protocol by Bloom et al. for an adaptive adversary has a higher total and amortized communication complexity. If we relax the security assumption, the static protocol upgrade can achieve a linear amortized communication cost per transaction, but only when outputting a quadratic number of transactions, which is very large. So in this work, we present two protocols that improve the state of the art results. Update is adaptively secure for optimal corruption thresholds and has cubic communication complexity for committing a block of n transactions. This is an order of n improvement over tardigrade. Upstate is statically secure for near optimal corruption thresholds and has quadratic communication complexity to commit block of n transactions, obtaining a linear amortized communication for only n transactions. We show that our protocols are also secure when the network can transition between a synchronous and an asynchronous behavior, and that the adversary can be mobile between epochs, but is limited to corrupting at most TS unique parties. And also, please note the name puns. We thought very hard about them. Here is the roadmap of the paper and of the longer presentation at Asia Crypt 2022. We first describe update, which uses error correcting codes to reduce communication complexity and is based on two protocols, block agreement and asynchronous common subset, which complement each other regardless of the network state. We then briefly describe upstate, which is the statically secure version of update, which with almost optimal corruption threshold, which elects two types of smaller committees. Going forward, we look at what happens when there can be arbitrary changes of the network state and the adversary can be mobile. Since our protocols use threshold crypto systems, we look at the security of asynchronous proactive secret sharing with refresh and prove that without future res further restrictions, it is impossible to achieve. Modified by this negative result, we constrain the adversary's capability to be mobile only inside a fixed set of parties and show that our protocols can achieve security despite key exposures. Finally, we will outline some open problems. Thanks and hope to see you there.